here with the latest Apple news and today there was a lot of news regarding the iPhone 9 or the iPhone SE 2, whatever Apple want to call it, and regarding possible production delays of that device. As you know, there's a lot of disruption in China right now and there's been tons of news regarding Foxconn and possible production delays for upcoming phones, including the iPhone 9. So the latest timeline we have for the new Apple device was that Apple were planning to launch this in March and set up production in February. So essentially, as soon as China started again after the New Year holiday, they would start production at Foxconn factories. A news article by Bloomberg today did say that there might be production problems with Foxconn because of everything that's happening in China. Foxconn did come out today and say that production shouldn't be affected so that the timeline of March as a release date for the new iPhone should still be good. So as you guys know, I do live in China and I live in Guangdong province, not far from the Foxconn factory that would be producing these phones. And at the moment, Guangdong has actually pushed back the Chinese New Year holiday. People in Guangdong can't work until the 10th of February at the earliest. That is about a week or so after they should be going back to work. So I'm guessing that production should be delayed a little bit, but considering we don't know the actual launch date of the new iPhone, Apple and also the factories that make the iPhone can probably factor all of this into their production times. So even though Foxconn's saying there won't be delays, from what I can see in China right now, I think there definitely will be some delays in the production of not just iPhones, but pretty much all of the current phones that will be coming out in the next few months. But once people get back to work, all of this should be sorted out pretty quickly. But anyway, it goes without saying that small delays in the production of these phones is not really important. What is important is the health of everyone here and making sure that everyone is safe and healthy before they go back to work. Moving on to some better news, the recent release of iOS 13 has shown us a sneak peek at a brand new set of Beats. This should be the new Power Beats 4 and it features a slightly upgraded design from the Power Beats 3. The Power Beats 3 connected the wire that goes between the two earbuds at the back, whereas the new design puts it nearer the front. A launch date for these is unknown, but considering we can see a new icon, for these in the latest iOS 13 update. It should mean they will be coming pretty soon. The Powerbeats 3 should be an upgrade, but still come in a little bit cheaper than the Powerbeats 3 Pro. According to Mac rumors, the Powerbeats 4 should have the same H1 chip to very easily connect with your phone and have Siri functions too. And according to them, the Powerbeats 4 should be almost identical to the Powerbeats Pro but come at a slightly cheaper price. And another important update in the latest version of iOS 13 is the ability to toggle off the U1 chip's location services. The U1 chip found in iPhone 11 devices is a way for them to better locate themselves in relation to other phones. And because the technology isn't allowed in every single country, beforehand Apple used to always know your location and then automatically toggle it on or off for you depending on which country you're in, but now you can do that yourself. And how about 5G iPhones? Tim Cook was asked yesterday about the 5G pipeline, and of course he didn't let us know anything about some upcoming devices. But he did say he was very excited for the pipeline of Apple products, and of course he would. It is expected that some 5G iPhones will make it to market with the iPhone 12 lineup later on this year. And this may be the reason why the latest rumors are pointing to two identical phones in the mid-size category for the iPhone 12 series. There are two phones that have exactly the same setup in terms of screen size. They're both OLED, one just has a triple camera, whereas the other has a dual camera. The difference between those two devices is just too small to warrant two different products unless one of them has 5G and the other is just a 4G device. So that would make a lot of sense why the iPhone has more devices than ever, according to the latest rumors for the iPhone 12. Of course, Apple haven't confirmed or denied the appearance of 5G in any of the upcoming iPhones. Subscribe for the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.